Hey there, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Sensei plugin from WooThemes to create course or you can say a membership site where you can sell your lessons or chapters to teach a particular skill or talent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first install the plugin by clicking on plugins, add new. Now let's click on upload plugin. So select the file. Or just select zip file here if you don't have the zip file then get it compressed okay now upload this zip file here and click on install now This will unpack the package and unfortunately I didn't package it correctly. Let me go back and fix that. Now let me try to install it at once again. I'm navigating to this zip folder and I'm going to click on install now. Hopefully this time there are no errors and I can get my plugin installed. Okay, so plugin is successfully installed and I can now activate the plugin. It will take some time to activate the features, even if it is a local install of WordPress, it does take some time and after that it shows that it is installed so okay so here is the sensei installation we will show you a welcome message now first thing we are going to do is we are going to click on install sensei pages you can find sensei tab here there are also lessons questions these three tabs will form the sensei plugin so first thing we are going to do is Going to install some pages. This will take us to Sensei tab and then settings page. Here you have general settings like access permission. User must be logged on to view the course. Then we disable private message. Course page to be on, let's say. sample page my course has to be on sample page as well so likewise you can create your new pages too and then just point it out then you have courses you can set it that courses are complete once all the courses lessons have been completed then you have author avatar or course author uh, information here also course archive pagination can be set by this slider then course pagination you can set to 2 or higher to 20 okay then similar other course relative settings you can just let it be at the default uh, come back to email notification here you can set the notifications the way you want email sent to learners should be active in order for them to do the course email sent to all users for private message then you can set your uh, course instructor name address header image you can upload from here 
and send the email right from sensor plugin you have this basic colors okay now th these are the tabs that will practically give you separate view of these options or you can access them in a single page like the one we did right now okay then you have analysis here you can analyze or create system like how many users are registered how many of them completed courses or active in a course and their grade then you have course stat like how many course how many lessons how many learners how many average course per learner and grade okay so after that there is grading system grading system is for those type of courses where you are paying attention to the track or the system followed by your students okay then you have learner management here you will find that there are all courses listed learner and last update so this is to manage the number of courses a learner is going to take part in and how many of them are updated then you have updates so you get to choose what to update and what not to okay so these are some of the lesson related update that you can set to manual run update etc so keep this to default right now and don't update unless you actively get into starting the course and update your content okay then you have messages where you see all the messages that are being sent to the people who joined your courses finally the settings the same page that we checked right now then you have lesson tab. here you're going to add lessons so let's say by checking the lessons here lesson title where the lesson is from and what visit are there so first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on add new this will ask you to create a new course under which new lesson will be created so something like lesson one okay then you have a message like this is lesson one for lesson okay then you have accept and learn your lesson information like how many length is there so let's say 15 complexity standard okay video code if you want to embed video from youtube then you can type the url here it will automatically show along with the lesson content you can set up quiz by going to questions or separately creating a quiz and set it up here then you have lesson preview person can preview this lesson without purchasing so just minor view will be given here then lesson course if you haven't added course add it here as introduction to plugin okay then i'm going to choose prerequisite as none course category none and I'm going to click on add course so our course is ready and lesson one of that course is ready as well now we have order here which only applies if there are multiple lessons then lesson tag and i can just go ahead and publish it so once the lesson is published you have one course with one lesson ready you can then go on and add additional lessons within multiple courses or within same course whenever you have to create a course you go to the all courses tab or you can simply create a course right from the lesson create page sidebar here okay so you have your lesson you can check it out
Okay, so here you have this lesson, complete lesson, contact lesson teacher. So clicking on complete lesson will notify your progress. Okay. So keeping that aside, let's check out all courses. Here you will find option for our course. You can also add course here, just like we did from adding a new lesson. From there, you can add course, or from this page, you can add the course. Then you can order the course if you are a learner or student. Okay, so you can save this and order as well. Considering you are the one holding this course right now, you won't be able to order it. Okay, then you have order lessons, which is a bit different, where you get to select the course and then order the lesson. So the functionality will be different for each person accessing the lesson. So in case of student, he will be only select the plugin, select it and save lesson order. So from here, they can choose the order in which they want to learn the lesson same with the course they can select the course and then set the order in which they want to take the course okay then you have questions tab here you can add additional questions that you want your student or learner to take part into you can attach these questions to your course and then to your lesson so here you can simply add a question how much time it takes for sunlight to enter earth so have it multiple choice okay so right answer is let's say seven minutes wrong is five minutes then add wrong answer as eight point three minutes then let's say nine minutes And let's publish this. And once published, we can add this question in our lesson and let the learner choose to answer this question. So, question looks something like that. How much time it takes to express a light to enter Earth? And then option will be given here. A question grade you can set here let's say like five should be graded and then additional will be allotted and collected towards the course so as you can see you have this sensor plugin where you can set things up for your course and go to lesson you can create a course from all courses and then add lesson by clicking on add new and you can keep on adding the lesson into your course along with the questions from questions tab and then you can grade your students you can set their course length and time also analyze their grading send them messages about their progress and also set other configuration for the plugin as well so I hope I have given you some idea about how to work with this Sensor plugin to create your own course and then use let's say WooCommerce or any other plugin to interact with Sensei and you can have your paid course listed on your own WordPress website. So if you can afford or let's say Udemy or 
use Fedora or similar system then using Sensei plugin and if you can connect it with your uh, PayPal account and you are ready to go you don't need anything else so I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any questions if you, have, if you need any uh, deeper view for integration with your PayPal plugin or so let me know and in future tutorials I will cover all the small details of the plugin and thanks for watching the video